really want to push that forward, and so I'm going to ask uh, various people, companies, you name it, in our city, uh, if you already start thinking about what you can do to contribute to this relief fund, I want to tell you it specifically will be aimed at addressing people who don't have insurance, don't have the financial means, their pipes burst, their homes were damaged, to give them some relief. Uh, once, you know, power is restored, water pressure is up. So please bear that in mind, and I suspect an announcement on that fund, a more detailed announcement, will be coming, will be coming very soon. Because people's homes have been damaged, we recognize that there will be uh, people putting out debris, uh, probably as early could be this weekend, going into next weekend. So I've been talking directly with Solid Waste, and we're getting ramped up to deal with that debris that we know will be putting being placed out on people's streets. Uh, we intend to resume some sort of uh, normal schedule in terms of the recycling bin. We've been picking up the black bins, but to get right back on schedule to picking up the green bin bins as well, and then to prepare to pick up that added debris uh, that will be placed outside of people's homes. So we recognize that's coming. We're preparing for that now because we want to pick it up as, so as, soon, as soon as we can. So uh, again, I want to thank people in this city for being just very uh, responsive, for, for opening up their arms. The shelters have remained open. Initially, they were scheduled for 72 hours like at George R. Brown. Uh, we have maintained, kept that in place. Um, you know, we had dropped a, a night ago to below 600. Last night, the number went back up close to, I think, close to 700. And then uh, I do want to thank the, uh, the National Guard. They have come in uh, and assisting over at the George R. Brown, and that's easing the pressure up on the city employees and others who are over there. So I certainly want to thank the State National Guard for assisting us at the George R. Brown. We will maintain uh, that, that, uh, that warming center, that uh, site, uh, through the day, uh, probably going into overnight, and then we'll see how things fare uh, tomorrow. So let me let me stop let me stop here. Let me first let me first call on Director Haddock, and then I'll go for, I'll go from there. Uh, the men and women of Houston Public Works continue to work around the clock to be sure we get this water system back up to fully operational. We made great progress yesterday, and I want to thank each one of you for doing your part in helping uh, reduce those leaks by shutting them off. I do need to remind everybody we remain in a boil water notice. It is very important that you understand that and that you make sure that any water that you're going to use for consumption, to drink, um, to uh, brush your teeth, to wash your face, that you boil that water before you use it. Bring it to a full rolling boil for two minutes. Um, as far as between 32 and 34 citywide, those pockets of low pressure are coming up this morning as well. So we're asking each one of you to, to pay attention to it, to, to be patient with us. We, we very much appreciate your patience. But if you are still having low pressure at the end of, of, of the day today, we're asking that you do reach out to us and contact us to make sure that you know. What you're going to see as this pressure comes back through the city is that people in one-story homes and first and second story are going to see this pressure. But people in, in buildings that are further up, third and fourth story, it's going to be longer to be able to run their internal repressurization system. So it's, it's all coming back online. The medical center reported to us late yesterday that they had enough pressure to repressurize their systems and keep doing what they needed to do. So we are making steady, uh, sustainable progress in bringing the system back up, and we are confident that we'll be able to maintain this progress. It's going to take time to do it in a measured manner such that we don't pull ourselves out of this and then have something break and go back in, and so we're taking this very deliberate action to make sure we can achieve getting out and staying out of the boil water notice and that our pressures will not um, fluctuate when we get there. Um, I'll be available for questions later. Thank you. Hey. Uh, staff members who have stayed around the clock 24 hours uh, because that's what it has taken so I really want to I, I want to thank them uh, for just being laser focused I want to thank people in the city of Houston for being patient this has been tough it's been a rough week okay so let me let me thank the people in this city businesses homeowners people living in apartments you name it 
um, people in our jails even. I want to thank them for being very, very, very patient for this week. Because when you're having to deal with power outages and you couple that with low, if no water pressure at all, it has been it has been a tough week. Uh, so I do want to exert, I want to thank you. The other thing, before I bring up the next person, I want to remind people on damaging your homes or in buildings. I know people want to be quick to make the repairs. I want you to make the repairs. Please verse for your calls. Okay, please, please. Uh, document the damages in your home. Ceiling fall has fallen in, take pictures of it. Furniture being damaged, take pictures. Structures haven't been damaged where somebody's having, the plumber's having to come in and uh, and really do, you know, damage your home to, to fix your, uh, your, 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 your situation. Document, document the damages to your, to your home, to your apartments, uh, to your buildings. Please do that. Uh, that will that will help us as we as we move forward. Now n let me bring on now let me bring on Chief uh, Chief um, Pena uh, from uh, uh, the Fire Department. Well, the men and women of the Houston Fire Department continue to be focused on their mission, which is uh, protection of life, safety, and property conservation. We have um, our, our numbers are are steadily dropping from over 3,000 calls per day just a few days ago. We're right under 2,000 calls today for the last 24 hours. The, the primary number of uh, call incident types are, are fires and, again, medical emergencies and a lot of uh, too many carbon monoxide type calls. So, again, we want to reiterate those safety messages. Be careful what you use and what you burn inside your home to try to stay warm. We're expecting another freezing night tonight, and uh, we want you to be cautious. We don't want you to lose your life or risk your health just uh, for unnecessarily. Um, I want to, it's all hands on deck for the fire department, Mayor, thank you for, uh, for, for your leadership as well, but it's all hands on deck for us. We have personnel out here distributing, uh, distributing water. We even have our recruits out here It's part of their, their community service, Mayor. So, uh, so this is a, this is a good way to, for them to spend uh, some time in serving their community. And, uh, I want to be, I want to thank the departments of every one of the directors that's back here, police department, public, uh, stay safe. Thank you, Mayor. Beta, HBD. Thank you, Mayor. High five. <laughs> this is starting to feel like a pep rally. I, I feel like I'm back in high school. Nobody invited me to college, so, I mean, uh, Mayor, good, good morning, everyone. First of all, I want to thank you for your leadership and guidance, and uh, to, to Carol Haddock and her team especially, thank you because water starting to come back up and it's a uh, life uh, so i want to give carol a big shout out the police department's uh, completely deployed and mobilized uh, continues to be mobilized uh happy to report that throughout this entire operational period starting at six at 6 p.m on sunday we have really kept up with our call uh, load we have uh, no call stacked up uh, we're completely operational but there's a word of warning that I, a word of warning that i need to give out and that is as as uh, disasters happen there will be a lot of con artists coming to your homes especially the elderly be aware of these contractors make sure you know who you're dealing with make sure you get identification from who you're dealing with make sure that you be scrutiny uh, scrutinize who you're dealing with because there will be a lot of uh, fake contractors coming around that will take the money and provide nothing uh, the last thing I want to put out there is that uh, our, all of our highways within the city of Houston are open uh, they're they're in good shape, but tonight we will have a freeze again. The last freeze, thank God. Uh, so tonight, if you go out at night, especially in the middle of the night, just use caution, especially in areas that normally don't get sun, elevated areas. Uh, we could have some refreezing if there's any water left. And lastly, to our police officers and the men and women of the Houston Police Department, I want to thank them. It's been all hands on deck, like the fire department and everyone else you see back here. Not only have we been keeping law and order, We've been uh, securing these sites, uh, and yesterday, uh, Carol Haddock asked us, uh, the, uh, really asked us to go out, her and her team, uh, and our men and women actually went around the city, continued to go around the city reporting water pipe uh, uh, that are bursted, and most importantly, <laughs> I've been told they're actually shutting down, shutting off water pipes. So there's an old saying in law enforcement, other duties in, as assigned. Director Haddock gave us those duties, and we took it very seriously, so thank you again. That's my report. And uh, starting to, uh, tonight and tomorrow, 
in talking with the Houston uh, Rockets, uh, Tad Brown, uh, in the city of Houston. So I do want to acknowledge uh, the former uh, Rocket players, Westbrook and, uh, and James Harden, who have both uh, called and made contact and are offering support to, uh, to the city as well. So um, once, you, uh, once, once you've been in, in Houston, regardless of where you go, the spirit of Houston still remains alive. And so, um, uh, Jason, I don't know if there's anything else on Center Point. Uh, the, Jason with Center Point. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you. So we're pleased to announce that over 99% of our system has been restored. Our gas and electric operators continue to make repairs, and we expect most of our outages to be restored by tonight. So we do appreciate your leadership, Mayor. We appreciate the leadership from the various communities and other county leaders amongst our electric footprint. We uh, we will continue to work with you, even though the game's canceled tonight. We're still in place, Mayor. So thank you. Thank you, Jason. And then lastly, before we take questions, let me say this. Uh, for. For many people in our city with means, with insurance, uh, this week has been a, a significant inconvenience, uh, but they have the means and the ability to quickly transition and move forward. For many people in our city who are already on the margins, who had very little and many disposable income, and were fighting every day just to keep a roof over their head and food in their refrigerator. Uh, this past week has been a major, major event uh, and has really disrupted their lives that were already on the margins. As the lights come back on and the water pressure goes up, we want to be sensitive to the fact that for many of these individuals, many of these families,